So here's a little flip through of the first junk journal I ever made. It's um, made from one 12 by 12 piece of cardboard stock. I used um, an old scrapbook and you'll see what it is later. And my goal for this was just to use everything from just one magazine. So this entire book, aside from a couple of tiny things, are all using pages from the spring issue of Good Housekeeping. As you can see, um, I've ripped quite a bunch of pages out already. Um, like that. Okay, so let's just get started. It's the first one I ever made, so I'm pretty proud of it. It's really adorable and cute, and I think it's just like super fun. Um, this is the front, and this was the front. This was the original front, except I accidentally put it in backwards and upside down. <laughs> so this is not the front anymore. It has now become the back, so it's sort of like the conclusion. Of, even though I thought this would have been a perfect cover, because it's beginning to look a lot like spring and I just took a beautiful bouquet of flowers and um, used my circle punch to cut four circles use, um, from a paint advertisement and then put it all against the backdrop of um, text from the magazine. But unfortunately, once I opened it up, I realized it was upside down and so I was like, ah, let me redo it. So this is my the runner-up cover. It's little Easter bunnies made of eggs, and this title just says Spring Forward, which still, I mean, it still works, I think, you know, either way. All right, so when you open it up, I got this idea from, um, oh, I can't remember who it is, but I'll um, put her link below because it was pretty fun to create it, and I felt really, it, I mean, it just looks really cool because it kind of just opens up like this too, uh, amongst other things, so I'll show you all that later. So... First, um, this was a, um, I think this was um, an article about furniture and I just put this yellow plaid washi tape on top of it to make the black more pastel-like and kind of give it that spring look. And I turned it into a diagonal belly band. So, you know, you can put stuff in it. And this one is just, um, a diagonal corner pocket with lemons because it's very spring-like and this is another quote inspired by color this is i think from that same paint advertisement and again i taped washi to the back to hide the back of the page but also to tie it in with the lemons and make it more spring-like and it's just like a little, I don't know, I guess it could serve as a little bookmark or tag or something like that. But I just thought it added interest. Here's another belly band. This is um, it was like a gardening article. And I just created a little page here using packing paper from Hobby Lobby, you know, what they wrap their stuff in. And I put a recipe on one side and I glued the paper on the other side just so you wouldn't see the back of the page. And then I used my little hole punchers, <laughs> my little fancy corner hole puncher that I got on Amazon used. And it's a little, it's a little, it's not that great because look at this side. I don't know what happened here. If it was a user error or machine error, but um, it gets caught every so often. But I just thought that was cute to have here. Um, it's a little fold up, flip up, flip up recipe plus a little journaling spot if you want. And this is just a mini collage. I uh, love this flower. I inked all the edges in um, aged mahogany because I thought it would work well with the original cardstock. So here, I'll just, you can see the original cardstock was this um, glittery pink card, which, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, but I was drawn to it like a moth to a flame. Here's another pullout. It's the good stuff. And, um, Another little journaling area using the paper from from the packaging that you get from Hobby Lobby. So it's really um, thin paper, but I think it works well here. And it's just like a little, you know, maybe put a little gratitude list there. This was um, a bag and I thought it would just be a cute idea to turn it into a um, little pocket. 
and this was just part of um some uh, it was just like the background of some article and i just thought that this was really pretty color so i glued more of that paper on there so you can write on it i was thinking maybe putting lines at some point but i don't trust myself enough to do that yet and then I had, I got a circle puncher and that's what I did here. I used a circle puncher to create a little pull out slot. And then next is another little collage. So it kind of, it kind of calls back to this one. These two are um, sister collages. And here's a little belly band. I use this um, washi tape, the orange washi tape and um, a picture of a heart balloon. And it, it is, a, and I mean, it's a belly band of sorts, but it's kind of thin and the, the magazine page is a little flimsy. So I don't know if I would trust it. And the tape had a really hard time sticking to this like glitter surface. I actually had to end up gluing it with barely arcs glue. So hopefully it stays. And then finally, the last page, I, um, here's a little more journaling area, mind over matter, a mantra to keep in mind if you know what it means <laughs> and here i just thought this was super hilarious just like so much expansive pink glitter that i just took this word extra from the magazine and just stuck it there because that's literally what this entire cardstock is it's just so extra and finally here is a little um corner pocket again in the back using um a bounty of spring fruits and a little tucked journaling tag i think i might actually put like a little like tag here to hold it so that it's, it gives it a little cuter look and it's easier to pull out. I was thinking about doing the corner punch or the circle punch here, but I didn't. And then finally, there's the front front page, which is just two recipes from the magazine. I cut them out, ripped them up, and then I kind of layered it on top of each other. Um, this one is for carrot pineapple cupcakes, and this is for charred scallion tarts. Just so that this car, just just so that this junk journal was not only, you know, junky and aesthetic, but also had like a useful purpose. So yeah, this is the very first junk journal I ever made. I'm very proud of it. It's not the grandest by any means, but I just think that um, you know we all got to start somewhere, and this is where I'm starting, and I'm actually really happy that I did it because. I'm not one to really ever produce things. So I'm definitely extra proud of myself. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.